Game engines today are used to create magical experiences, and they pack in a rich array of capabilities. Even then, game and simulation developers often tell us that they want more choice that allows for collaboration, customization, and creative control. We wanted to give these developers not only the ability to harness engines like Amazon Lumberyard, but to be able to contribute to it and to grow it for themselves and for others. And that's where the Linux Foundation comes in. Linux Foundation, for those of you who aren't aware, hosts not only the Linux kernel and Linux community, but uh, three, four hundred other open source projects from things such as Kubernetes to OpenJS, Electron, and even the Let's Encrypt SSL service. Today, I'm happy to announce a new initiative that we are forming with AWS. It is called the Open3D Foundation, uh, and AWS is contributing a updated version of the uh, Lumberyard codebase as the original seed project uh, of the organization. The Linux Foundation works with a variety of companies, organizations worldwide to provide uh, a method of open collaboration that brings innovation into new industries and new areas. This is our first large project in the gaming engine you know, industry, and we are looking forward to working with not only AWS, but a uh, bevy of partners out there in growing um, this community. This changes everything. This is as revolutionary as Internet 3.0. Not only does it disrupt gaming and entertainment and media, but it fundamentally transforms all industries that touch 3D, from automotive to healthcare to manufacturing. What's the most exciting thing for me and for Taffy is the community of people that this brings together. At the end of the day, it's about the companies and their technical contributions and that flywheel that starts spinning. So I'm super excited to see how this is gonna fundamentally disrupt the whole industry for gaming and beyond. What's really interesting about this is rather than it be a single company that's delivering a solution, this is a partnership across multiple companies that's delivering an open solution to market, which will drive uh, innovation for all. We look forward to our continued collaboration on the Open 3D engine as we together can help deliver the highest fidelity rendering to the market, delivering that best in breed user experience. We're a very forward-looking studio. We, we try to predict the future and we, uh, we want to make sure that we're, we're future-proofed as much as possible. Um, what we love about this engine uh, uh, and what we've seen you know, so far is an engine that's, that's built on a great foundation and it's going to continue growing over time for many years to follow. You know. And with that in mind, uh, our studio is going to grow and evolve over time as well. Um, and so us uh, utilizing this engine, building our games, means that, uh, that we're building upon a great foundation with great partners, great people, great founding members, and we're future-proofing our tech stack for many, many, many years to come. Open source at RIT, it all evolved from the interest of games, at least in terms of our formal programs on campus. And so what's exciting to me about this is now we get to kind of close the loop, right? Now we get to use industrial strength tools that are fully open in the classroom for classroom work, not just use open source for a targeted platform and a targeted goal. Alongside the Open3D engine, we're also introducing the Atom Renderer, a new multi-platform real-time renderer that supports physically based rendering, ray tracing, and global illumination. The Atom Renderer ships with support for forward plus rendering and is ACES color space compliant. Like the Open3D engine itself, the Atom Renderer is modular, data-driven, and scriptable. And yes, of course, it is also open source. The Open3D engine is available today in developer preview on GitHub. I invite you to come check out the engine, contribute to it, and help democratize the future of 3D development. Thank you.